Welcome back. This is the Daily Duos, and I'm feeling better. Let's go. Finally feeling better, not like crap. And we're watching Malibu Mustache, probably the most exciting team going into this FNCS Invitational. Mr. Stash fighting off spawn, little 50 50 action. This is not what you want to see, but bro, they just took each other out. Mustache, Z Andy, trading shots, both go down. Look at that. Wow. Wowzers. Looks like Zandi was playing with Chapix. They were playing with different duos, but Taste and Chapix will be landing here regardless. This is kind of like that off spawn fight that you're looking for. Kick on Malabuka. Gets the disengage here, but now there's another team. So there's, there's a third team. Right now it's only Chapix. Nonetheless. I can be able to get, get the res off here. Dip off. That third party is going to help this happen. Players coming in. Now this just becomes a... It's a nice way to put this. A shambles off spawn fight where no one really wins. Except that this POI, there is a winner. There's more than enough loot to where it like, doesn't really matter who um, or how long this takes. Because there's just so much loot at Kondo. And when I mean so much, they're, you'll see. They're going to walk away with more than enough after they wind up winning this. Spoiler alert, we're not just watching them die off spawn. So, yeah, they're just smacking on things, trying to get as many mats as possible, hoping to catch the team slacking. The team up above is doing the same thing. They're trying to take the tops while Malibu and Mustache try and find an angle here. And it's just one of those slow going back and forth, try and take peace, try and take peace. And, like, this is how you have to play. You can't necessarily go that quick. Malibuka is going to be able to get that first elim. That's huge. Then we see Mustache getting right to his teammate. Trying to chase down the anemone. Gets a couple of tags. And then out the reboot lag, you'll see big shots coming through. Bang! So they're able to now loot up. We don't need to see none of that. But you're not really done when you went off spawn here because there's teams that land all over the place. So teams could land down here, over here, up here, and all rotate and converge in. And that's exactly what happens. So Malibuka takes a big shot here. Mustache able to get the high ground, get a little bit of chip damage on both players, but nothing significant. It's enough to be able to give Malibuka some time to heal and then force these guys to run away. But you've angered the beast, and the beast is coming for you. Bruh, 25 with a prime shotgun. Man. Wish we had better shotguns. Anyway, Malibuga is going to go down. And then this is a really smart play for Malibuga. Look right over here. Malibuga is going to drop everything for his teammate. Shotgun, splashes, mats. Immediately, just to make sure, like, okay, you're going to be as healthy as possible. You're going to have the best weapon possible. And then Mustache does something which a lot of players should try and do regularly if they're not going to be able to get the heal off but can safely get to their teammate cone them so that way this opponent cannot just get a free easy 50 hp if they take down your teammate boom mustache is too quick with it give me that oh all right we zoom but now they're gonna go back they're gonna take more loot from condo because there's more than enough here. Whew. And you might think like, yo, they just fought three teams off spawn. Yeah, they're walking away with five elims. But 
there's more than enough loot here where it's literally not a problem. They're going to have sick loot walking away. Um, now, let's talk about, like, this team in general. Some tendencies. They have massive pop-off games. They're also going to go down off spawn a couple of games. Their competition is just too good. Aqua Rezon, Taysen Chapix simply are too good at this game to lose off, off spawn every single time. So if all three of those teams are going condo every single game, it's pretty much going to be like a 50-50, 30-30-30, something like that, where... Each team wins their handful of games. Maybe they split a couple of games. That's why I call it maybe 50-50. They'll just split a couple of times. And then the team that will come out best is probably Malibukum or Stash because they have these big games and massive pop-ups. But one thing I wanted to note before we just continue to blabber on, they were able to use Blimp down here, Blimp here, to this, to this, to here. So movement all the way up through the map. That just shows that the rotations there are massive. And Cloudy is going to be able to rotate pretty much anywhere it wants on the map. Unless it has to go directly through up to where Junk or Chrome Jam Junction. That's the first time I'm ever saying that. Alright, now we're looking to hold the team. They know they just got rebooted, so this team's going to be shambles. And this is just what a Malibu or Stash team does. They know how to hold ground really well. So what they're doing is forcing this team around. They're going to take even more storm damage. And then Mustache is going to go on one side. Malibu is going to jump right in. Mustache is going to find this one player. And we're jumping in. Exploit. Peace, bro. Malibu takes a big piece of damage. And now Mustache's job is to slow down this fight to the point where Malibuka can get healthy. But he doesn't want to just take a stray 50-50 here, right? You want to just slow down the fight to where Malibuka can get back to you. They trade damage. Looks like Mustache takes the bigger piece of that. And right now he's waiting, right? Could have made that edit. No, wait. Malibuka's here now. Okay, sweet. We're chilling. And now this is just a simple 2v1. They're too good to lose any of those. Boom. Another one. So before third zone even starts closing, these guys have 70 limbs. And, uh, yeah. They can pretty much do this. Not whenever they want, right? But this is the kind of games that they're known for. These big games where they're starting off... Seven Elims off spawn, got a couple more in mid game, and they are stacked beyond belief. And I've talked about loadouts, so we'll talk about loadouts once again, real quick. Prime, Evil Chrome, Sniper, Prime, Evil Chrome, two pads. This is pretty much the loadout that I'm seeing from everyone. And I would expect to see it continuously throughout this entire FNCS, unless they change anything. And I, I would say that if the SMG was better at, like, longer range, people would hold it. But it's not. And this Evo Chrome AR is just the best weapon in the game, especially once you get that thing to purple. You're just shredding through people. So they are big chilling on their loot. Just trying to put some damage on people, be a bully. Even wind up getting an extra launch pad here, so that is nice. They are in zone already. They're funneling in that loot, making sure they are in zone. And moving into this position, even though they've built a fairly big base, they can once again just build even bigger. Taking tags on people trying to move in. Those guys haven't paid rent, so Malibu and Mustache have to go take a peek. And 
And I'm surprised Malibuka is not trying harder to make sure that he gets that thing to blue. Because once it's at blue, I mean, purple's disgusting. But once it's at, at blue, it's really good. Now they're claiming everything. Zone pulls in this direction. These guys are looking to make a play. And again, why this team is so dangerous, they literally need nothing. But they will go make a play just because they feel like it and they know they can. So, all this extra stuff, they're going to look to throw down a pad. Trying to find a clear space to be able to do it. And now we'll just slow it down to real time. Because these two move fast enough in real time to even go any faster than that so they're looking to take ultimate low here interesting considering they have two pads but they get in zone now they're looking for any opportunities to make plays and as we can see they're always together when they're making plays it's never like one guy makes a decision here we see Malibuka even though they were looking at a fight and Mustache was taking shots. As soon as zone pulls, Malibuka's like, all right, bro, we have to focus on zone. That's why they're so good. And this is great recognition by Malibuka, seeing they're going uphill, not waiting. And this isn't, like, the most beautiful tarp in the world, but it's also not a bad one. It's good enough to be able to get his teammate through here. Then they're going to be able to pick up these quick elims, get that refresh. And they always are getting quick elims. But here, really smart play. Recognizing you're slow on the rotate. So what they're doing, throwing a pad to get themselves forward. Mustache 1 HP. Gets the help from Malibuka to hold the wall. Malibuka then lets his teammate get behind him. And bro, you're chasing my teammate. Give me that. You ain't, you ain't chasing down my teammate. Now, now they need to figure out how to get out of here. Smartly going to dive into Storm, take a couple of ticks. This is what splashes allow you to do. Take a couple of ticks, but you wind up getting into a better position. And they've cleared some space for themselves now in zone on this side. Zone pulls far once again, but they're already on this left side here. Recognize they need to go up. There's a team on their layer. Need to avoid this. This is kind of shambles right now. But Malastash. Now they're looking to go make a play on high ground. Those guys are way high up there. They're fighting. They're like, whoa, look at this, guys. They're, they're just chilling in storm. We just need to make sure we shoot them out. This is a free height. That player is just trying to stay alive. And when you have someone shooting at you, you're just not going to be able to do that. So this is really smart too. We have Malibuka focusing on keeping them up on height. Mustache making sure that the team or player up above is getting pressured so he can't play height. And now they've easily taken height. Great awareness. That's just rude. That is an overcommittal. That will run them into problems. And sometimes it does. Their aggressive nature is why they're good. So you can't necessarily stop that at all times. But you can't be making those plays trying to take a 1v1. Even though you know that player's weak. That I was cool with, right? The single wall against that one player, that's fine. Jumping down into a space that you have no control or knowledge of, not a smart play. But Malibuka keeps them calm, cool, collected. Mustache goes down trying to close it out. The way at which this this guy moves. Mustache is wild, bro. Give me that. Ugh. Another one. Bullied. Get out me lobby. Just straight in. Jeez. That's a hero play if I've ever seen one. But Malibu is just above. He's chilling. He's like, all right, Mustache, you got this, dog. And then he takes some tags. Now they're like, all right, 
Malibu, it's your turn. And that guy can't handle the spray from two of those weapons. You can't even handle the spray from one. Whoa! 14 e limbs at the dub. Let's go, baby. Uh, yeah, these guys are good. Uh, really freaking good. Sometimes they just need to learn how to like pull back the throttle at times because that is what's going to get them in trouble um, outside of the off spawn stuff that we already talked about. So thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.